Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage and welcome to a new series of Civilization 6. This is the first time that I am playing the game since the DLC came out, so two new pieces of DLC. One of them added the Poland Civilization to the game, the other one added the scenario, uh, which was the, uh, the Viking scenarios. I'd like to have a go at those at some point, because not many people tend to mess around with the... Uh, the scenario so i would like to do those and we see that they are in there so there's the uh the polish one and there's the viking one so at some point we'll have a go at those but at the same time as the dlc coming out they've also made a few changes there's been a few balance changes and just sort of tweaks with the way the game plays so it'll be interesting to see those so i'm going to go and create a new game now this time we're going to go up and attempt it on emperor again still choose standard They've now added the Earth map as well, it's something else that was added in with the DLC. I'm still going to go with Fractal because I really enjoy that. We'll go for a standard size. And this time around, I'm not going to play Poland because I assume pretty much everybody is now playing Poland because Poland is the new civilization. But I'm going to do something that I was thinking about doing before Christmas and that is playing as Montezuma. And the reason for that is luxury resources in his territory provide an extra two amenity, well, an extra amenity to two cities. Military units receive plus one combat strength for each different luxury resource improved in the Aztec lands. They can spend builder charges to complete 20% of a district. They get the Eagle Warrior, which is an ancient era unit, so it replaces the warrior. They start with it at the beginning of the game. Has the chance to capture other civilizations' military units by turning them into builders. It doesn't work on barbarians. I'm not sure if it works on city-states. I think it's just other civs. And then they have their unique building, which is the Tlachli which basically gives them an amenity, plus two faith, and a great general point. So we're going to pick Monty. Just going to go into the advanced setup so we can go down here and look at the random seeds, in case you guys decide you like the map and want to try at home. Uh, all of the settings are on default, but I'm going to be trying to go for the domination victory in this game. So let's go ahead and start things up. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest, from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Tlatoan in Montezuma, keep your eagle warriors happy and fed, and they will forever fight for your cause. As your Aztec empire unfurls across the land, you will never want for people to raise your walls, for you will be blessed with new loyal workers as you conquer those around you. Go forth. Hootsli Apuchli calls. Okay, so let's go and see what we start with, how bad things are. Um, okay, it's coastal. We've got some ivory. Um, we've got some... Crab, well, that's a, just a bonus resource. Not too fantastic a start. Do have some mountains nearby. Now, there are three main changes. There's quite a lot of little changes, but there are three main changes that I think are going to make the big difference to the way this game plays. First of all is the tech tree and the civic tree. So what they've done is they've now changed it so that the techs and civics in the top end of the tree uh, take progressively more research and culture to unlock. So basically what should happen now is you shouldn't be finishing the tech tree um, two thirds of the way through the game or sometimes even halfway through the game. You should It should be more in line with the turn timer now on both civics and on tech. They've also reduced the cost of some or reduced the building cost of some of the late game wonders. So that should make the later game wonders easier to get. The spaceport no longer requires you to have a specific count of population now. So any city can build the spaceport without having to worry about reaching the next population level. Now another thing that they've changed is with the districts, a lot of the unique districts that are unique civilizations also re now do require population. Previously they didn't. Uh, but the main big change I think is going to make a difference is that the district buildings that used to have an area of effect and could affect multiple cities, which still do, so things like factories and power plants and zoos and um, stadiums, 
They can now, uh, they can still affect multiple cities, but a city can only be affected by one of them uh, at once. So you can't have your capital surrounded by other cities that are full of uh, commercial, um, full of industrial districts with workshops, uh, with their factories, because only one factory will provide the bonus to it. So that's going to slow things down a little bit. But anyway, let's go ahead and see what we can find here. One, two, three. Now, we'll be out of range of that wheat if we settle here. I, th I think we're going to actually um, settle on this tile, just so we're a little bit closer to the wheat. So let's go ahead and do that. We want to be working. Yep, three food and one production is about as good as we are going to get. Now, our production, we definitely want to get that scout out as quickly as possible. We, What do we want to work on here? We will want animal husbandry as soon as. We'll just go for pottery because there's nothing specific that we're really desperate for at the moment. So like I said, it is my plan to try and go for a domination victory. Hopefully we're not completely surrounded by barbarians on every side. Got some more ivory up there. I suppose we'll go that way. I was kind of hoping that we would uh, have a few more resources around because that's really what you want as the Aztecs. Also, hopefully, we don't have any hyper-aggressive neighbours. Because that's usually a bad start, especially on anything on Prince or above. Can't see anything up there. They've also now added the alert button, which was something that Civilization V had. So the ability to put a unit onto alert, so it just wakes up if something comes near. So we've gone to the next population now. One food and two production. The growth will be slow, but I guess having that production is not a not a bad thing. Two turns and we'll get the ivory tile, so we do want to work towards that animal husbandry. Now, I don't want to stray too far with this warrior, especially as we'll probably end up seeing barbarians quite soon. We have our scout. Our scout's going to go down to the south. We do have tea. Okay, that's good. So we do have another luxury resource nearby. Now, there's a lot of things I'd be tempted to build, but I think we're going to try and get a uh, slinger out quite quickly, just for defensive purposes, and then we'll want to, want to get another eagle warrior. So I don't mind getting a little bit behind on my buildings, because I want to get in front with military unit production. I'm wondering, there's a city-state up there. Still haven't seen any barbarians yet. So I am tempted to just go and um, tag that city-state. Before bringing that warrior back down. There's pottery done. And it is Amsterdam. Let's come back down this way. What is your mission? Construct an encampment. Well, we'll most likely end up doing that. Considering this is likely to be a military victory. So, let's go for animal husbandry anyway. Right. We have now found barbarians. At least we've found a scout anyway. See if we can sort of slow his movement down a little bit. As long as he doesn't find the city, we wouldn't have to worry too much about the barbarians. So let's keep bringing you guys down. There's another barbarian camp here, and an, well, another barbarian, and another city-state. So, Rome is my closest, closest neighbour. Well, this has never gone terribly before has it so we have met rome now what it might be worth doing if we can is going to rome and sending a delegation try and keep them happy if possible we might also want to go for an early war they're all actually all the way up there to the north there we go so we've now discovered geneva as it turns out Mount Kilimanjaro, what does that give us? Just food to adjacent tiles. And that's given us a few boosts on things as well. Let's go on to the next turn. He sent a delegation to us as well, which is fantastic, because that means we basically get our money back. Now, we are really going to have to be mindful of Rome. The AI is quite happy to backstab the player. 
Um, this should be a kill, I think. Yep. So that'll give us the experience. Thank you very much. So we've got our slinger. But we do need to get some more eagle warriors, certainly. The slinger is going to stay in the city because you are there for defense. But yes, we definitely need to build up an army as quickly as possible. It is not wisdom. There's code of laws. So let's get the extra strength with fighting barbarians. And I think we'll go for the faith first. Try and get that early pantheon if we can. Choose a new civic. Well, we haven't got the boost to either of them. Let's go for foreign trade to start with. We'll try and keep friendly with Rome for as long as possible. I guess we are relatively protected behind the mountains here. There's the barbarian camp. So let's back up from that. We know where it is now. It's an important thing. We are going to have to clear it because I think it's on the coast. So we'll be dealing with boats otherwise if we don't. And we have another barbarian camp there. That's a camp we should be able to clear. Two more turns and the city will grow again. More tea down there. So let's go and sit on the hill. We should be safe. One more turn until the city grows. So one, two, three. That T is within range of our if there are no capital. Dogs in heaven, then when I so there's animal husbandry done. Now then, our growth is going to be slow now. Because you're deciding to work... Uh, two food, two... That's not a bad tile, to be honest. We will want to get a worker out as soon as possible. Go for early astrology... Early sailing, early writing. So we can we can link that up now. We just need the builder. I think we might want to go for early sailing. We do have a few sea resources. Uh, this would be a major victory. We would be a lot stronger, of course, if we actually had one of these resources hooked up. But we will have to wait on that one. So, we've got some horses down here, some more tea, more horses, and another city-state. Might get off to a bit of a tricky start. We'll see how things go. Again, this would be a major victory. Yeah, if we can clear that camp out, that'll give us the money that we need to buy our builder straight away. We have met Hattusa. Well, we're definitely not on an island here. But we really need to keep our eye on Rome and be prepared for an attack coming from them. So let's clear this out. Fantastic. We get a promotion. We get 40 gold. We're going to go over here. We are going to buy... Uh, can't quite afford it. It's 200 gold. Because I sent that delegation, which is something I don't usually do. We'll, we'll get it back. Je suis oh, well, that's not good. Well, that's never going to be good. So, France is down here. There's another city-state, Buenos Aires. Is France any closer than Rome? Looks like they're probably around about the same. Oh, no. No, Paris is all the way down there. So they're probably a little further away than Rome. Don't really want to send them money. See, Rome already is unfriendly. Even though we sent a delegation, he's unfriendly. First impressions, minus four. Uh, and I only get plus three for sending the delegation. So I'm already at minus one. What else can I do? It's one of the things that really displeases me about this game. So France has sent a trade delegation to us. So that's good. A bit more money. You get a promotion. You are going to have uh, combat strength versus ranged and melee. So it doesn't even give you full health, but never mind. Uh, let's keep exploring this way. We haven't found a single goody hut yet. Not a single one. There's sailing done. So let's get you guys out here. 
Still need to clear that camp out. Choose research. So with sailing done, I guess archery would be good. We're probably not likely to kill a unit with a slinger for a while. Let's go ahead and get... I mean, we don't have anything to mine, but we should probably get mining done out of the way. The Pantanal is the most complex and that's the one that gives us the culture, yeah. Found another city-state. Still haven't... Oh, no, there's a goodie hut. We have found one. We'll go and get that if we can. All of these pop-ups everywhere. On to the next turn. That was a bit of a glitchy... Uh, bit of a glitchy animation coupling. So he doesn't like it because we're not expanding. Well, we will do. We plan to. Uh, that's given us a boost to... Oh, archery. Fantastic. So we will pick that one up quite soon. We have our next Eagle Warrior. So let's just get you out there. Put you on alert. Choose a production. I think we want the granary because we want the food and the housing. We will, we will also want to settle very soon. We've got a barbarian camp up here. Now truffles are a luxury resource. So we could go and set up here next to the lake. It wouldn't give us an awful lot of useful stuff though, I'll be honest. If we come down this way, there still isn't a lot of, awful, all, uh, of useful stuff. So either way, we're kind of screwed on that front. But we'll bring this uh, warrior back. We do want to clear these camps out. Let's get you down here. You have a promotion. But as long as we leave you with some movement left, we can give you... It's mainly flat, so let's give you the ranger one. Some furs over here. See if we can find some more city-states. Better yet, some more goody huts. So, do I want to clear this one first, or do I want to clear that one first? And I think my next city I do want to have up next to the lake, if I'm honest. Uh, we can buy that worker, actually, so I should go ahead and do that as quickly as possible. There's mining done. So let's go ahead and buy the builder. We will do archery anyway, just so we can upgrade that slinger. Nice and quick. Um, you're the wrong unit. I thought you were the scout. You're supposed to be going that way. You are the scout. There's Stockholm. Have I met Stockholm before? Trigger a eureka moment for the wheel. Just trying to think if I've ever met Stockholm in a game before. Maybe they've added some new ones. I'm not 100% sure. Stonehenge has been completed by one of the AI. Unmet player has been defeated, which is probably a city-state in all honesty. So you need to go down there and build the camp. So we'll move down here with you. Nothing of interest or note. And all of a sudden, there is a barbarian that, that is randomly next to us. which is probably from this camp. So you're going to stand there. You're going to move into that tile anyway. And you're going to try and move up behind and sort of trap this guy in any goody huts anywhere not that i can see well that's disappointing see we've already got housing issues but the granary will hopefully solve some of that right you apparently know where the city is you're not going to get away though we can choose a pantheon as well what i should have actually done and i didn't because i'm stupid is i should have gone and done this first because that would have given us more combat strength. But anyway, it's done now. Choose a Pantheon. Yes. Well, we don't have Tundra. We don't have Desert. Production towards Wonders. Production from fishing boats. That could be quite useful in the capital, actually. Because we are going to have three fishing boats here. Yeah, I think we'll go for God of the Sea. And then, do I then want to coastal settle up here 
mean, I'm thinking if we can grab like this tile, one, two, three, it'll reach the rice, it'll reach this ivory, it'll reach the wheat. That's probably the tile I'm looking at. So that's going to be uh, my next city, most likely. See if we can get to it before Rome does. We all need to clear that barbarian camp. Unit needs orders. Still really lacking on goody huts. May the forces of evil There's archery done. Fantastic. So, let's kill you off. And that's given us a boost. Right, let's go ahead and get these fishing boats. You are going to get upgraded to an archer straight away. Now, we probably want to get an encampment. So we might actually start off with the bronze working. We'll send you down here because you should be able to clear that camp on your own. We'll have a look down here at the tundra. See if we can actually find any more goody huts. Or more AI, you never know. So we have finished. Do we want to work on the monument straight away or do we go for the settler? I'm tempted to go for another another eagle warrior just to be safe. But there again, the quicker we get the second city up and running, the more quickly we can actually um, produce more units. So let's go and bring that eagle warrior back. You are going to build the fishing boat and you'll do the same on there. We will need another builder at some point as well. You can stay there on alert. And off we go. We might have, we don't want to fight it over the river, so we might have to work our way around. More furs. Um, this is Jerusalem. Who are they fighting? They're on a goody hut, though, so I'd like them to move. But that is the end of the turn, so I'm going to end the video there. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Civilization VI. I think these new changes will make things slightly better, but I'm not convinced how much uh, so yet. So this game hopefully will be the test. I'll see you guys on the next video, and until then, goodbye for now.